Hello everybody, welcome back once again to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Well, last time we left off, we headed to Eden Prime where we, uh, well, we found a Prothean stasis pod with a live Prothean still inside. We managed to open it, said Prothean managed to survive, and therefore we have a Prothean on board our ship. 50,000 years in stasis. A race we believe to be extinct and one of them lives and is aboard our ship. That's quite something. Uh, so we, uh, we've we talked to him and uh, he is uh, a bit of a strange one isn't he? Calling us primitives seems very advanced for uh, seems very advanced. Can read people's thoughts and feelings and things like that. Quite an advanced race. Anyway, that was last time. What do we have in store this time? I don't have the foggiest clue to be honest with you. <laughs> now I have done some bits off camera briefly. I started out by reading uh, reading uh, Where is it? Here it is, Eden Prime. An alert from Eden Prime basically outlining how local resistance, uh, the local resistant movement, has successfully pushed Cerberus forces off Eden Prime. How did they do that? They used the intelligence that we collected and sent through to them. So now they are thanking the Alliance for the assistance and have pledged their support to the Alliance, which is absolutely marvellous gives us an extra helping hand in our fight against the the Reapers. So uh, that was the first thing. The second thing was I went down to uh, Dr. Chakwas Medical Bay to uh, to reassign my powers and the reason why is because I have now unlocked SLAM which we found out last time. So I give myself SLAM Oh, hey. I'll be looking forward to using it and therefore I have to reassign my powers to make use of SLAM so if we take a quick peek at Shepard's uh, power, power spread out now um, I've just had a bit of a tinkering now I've, had, I've come to the conclusion that either incendiary ammo or cryo ammo will suffice I don't need to put points into both and therefore having points in both in my opinion is a waste of time because they both weaken armor cryo ammo does slow down and shatter unprotected enemies, but unprotected enemies can be slammed to the ground and crunched, which is far more <laughs> to my taste. So I'm not going to use cryo ammo, so incendiary ammo only. Secondly, I'm not a lover of Nova. It's a very powerful maneuver up close to co in close quarters, however it does take down your biotic barrier and leaves you vulnerable. And in, in close quarters combat, that isn't the most ideal of things to happen. So uh, I would much rather use charge instead as a close quarters sort of up in your face, knockdown sort of thing. So I've maximised Baratic Charge up to level 6. I've maxed out Slam. I'm going to upgrade Fitness and Assault Mastery uh, and Pull in a sort of periodic fashion. Uh, but uh, um, I'm not going to use Nova or Cryo Ammo, and I'm not a lover of Shockwave either, so I've got Shockwave up to level 3, but I don't have any plans in taking it past level 3. I do have plans to take Pull to maybe level 4 or 5, not quite probably to maximum. I don't know how many points I'm going to end up getting in, over the course of the game and how many of these powers I can maximise, but for the moment that I'm going to max, I've maximised Slam and, shock, uh, and, and Charge, I will maximise both of these, and any spare points I will put into Pull and the Ammo and that should do us. I haven't looked at Liara's or James's powers. I was thinking of remapping Liara's to make better use of Singularity but uh, I'll have to see when we next use them what their points are being put into. So that was that. So that's all I've done off camera. Remap my own powers and read a message. That was it. I actually did it on camera, but the remapping of the powers took far longer than I thought, and I, and I just decided to start again <laughs> and cut it out, to be perfectly frank with you. Where am I? Why did I come to this level? 
because I was too busy talking, that's why. Uh, so uh, what, do, uh, what I'm planning on doing is I'm just going to have a scout about the ship in a couple of places, which I didn't really extensively search last time, to see if I can find any more of my model ship collection, which seems to have been scattered about all over the place, uh, and also to talk to uh, my crew members after the last mission to see what they have to say, and then after that we can set off and decide what we're going to do next. So uh, first of all I'll speak with Liara to see how she's uh, settled down after the arrival of the Protheon on board. I'm sure she's extremely excited by the new arrival. There is new information on the private messages terminal. Uh, thank you, Gliffy, for your... Uh, for your... Uh, update. Prothean Notes 2186, Entry 1. The things this Prothean must have seen. If they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him time to get his bearings, but goddess, when will we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? Of course, this is probably Ara's musings. Hello again, Shepard. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferron and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. <laughs> I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. Hmm. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. We'll talk later, Viara. Of course. Of course. Yes, uh, just a little bit of chit chat about her time as the as a shadow broker. Of course, we didn't talk with her about that last time. And uh, any model ships hidden amongst the curtains here? No. Okie dokie. I'll be back later, Liara. Mark my words. I've explored the rest of this level. Down to engineering. And uh, down the steps, because I have been reliably, I say reliably, I don't know how reliable the information is, but since two or three people have told me I consider it reliable, I missed something whilst I was down here. Did I not? <gasps> what is this? Oh, it's a Shadow Broker ship. Okay, that's not what I was hoping to pick up. I was hoping to pick up something else. Hello? Hello? What? My bloody hopes have been... Oh, wait a minute, what's this? <gasps> 
No! No, no, no! Come here! Bloody Koku! He's running about! Tyrion Cruiser. There we go. So I... Oh! 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 Dear little bleeder! Get here now! <laughs> Somebody told me that... <coughs> that I could find my uh, little space hamster down here, and here he is, cuddling across the damn floor! Here he Catch! 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 Catch him! Shepherd! How do you bloody stop him? He This is a, a, a mini game in itself. Catch the hamster. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. I can't seem to get a lock on. Is it a glitch? <laughs> Sorry folks, if I'm here for the next half an hour trying to catch this little blighter, but it has to be done. I cannot be without my space hamster. But how do I catch him? Do I have to step on him? Do I... <laughs> look, look, look! It's Got him! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha, you cheeky monkey! <laughs> oh, we've got him! Thank the blooming lord, we've got him! Right. I assume we're going to be back in my captain's cabin. We'll go there last. Just check down in the cargo hold that there's no other ships that I've missed. Uh, speak with James. Speak with Cortez, and then uh, we will be jetting off to pastures new. There we go, model freighter. There we go. So quite a bit of things I've missed the first time I explored this ship. I didn't really expect all my uh, <laughs> memorabilia to be scattered high and low, to be honest with you. Don't mind me, Cortez, I'm just on the hunt. There we go, Greth Cruiser, oh, Alliance Cruiser. How did I miss all these first time round? In fact, where's the shuttle gone as well? Out for repairs, is it? Right, I don't believe there's much else. Just one last double check. Ah, what's this? Oh, the original Normandy. How could I miss that? Marvellous. Okay, checking in with James. Hey again. What's up? You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. You want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? Next topic. Okay. How's your state of mind? You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. <laughs> no promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, <laughs> I like to keep Esteban on his toes. Speaking of Esteban... I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. <laughs> okay. Family? You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. 
Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a loco, huh? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done <laughs> makes me look sane. I'll talk to you later. You bet. Ah. <sighs>